He had a bad beginning. His original family got him as a children's toy. I am Anna, and this is Kai's story for Jubies. We just saw a post from our local shelter, tied up production, and we just fell in love with him. He was found by authorities at a home with many children who were harassing him. We are lucky that he got out from that family. They assume he was maybe five to six weeks old when he came to the shelter. He just would fit in my one hand and it broke my heart to see him like that. He's very clingy and very affectionate and just needs a lot of attention. Maybe he was separated too early from his mom. <laughs> He just started right away to play with the water. I started to show him the water tap and he immediately got interested in it. He just started to play with the water and get interactive with it. And since then, he always demands water. He always sits there when I am in the bathroom and wants me to open the tap. And yeah, it always is a little bit chaotic and there's water everywhere, but we let him have his fun. Sometimes he is very angry about me when I close the tap. He is very mischievous. He has always something in mind. Always his personality and appearance remind me of a raccoon. I like two brothers that hate and love each other at the same time. They sleep together, they eat together, they annoy each other. It's like my child. I have a daughter and it's pretty similar, I'd say. <laughs> Don't want to, um, to take ch uh, animals to uh, the same level as children, but I have the same feeling. My daughter also sees him as a little brother. I'm just happy that he is really part of our family. I think that his character overweighs his size, so he's big in character and small in size. I didn't know any cat that loved as much water as he did. And it's kind of unusual, I'd say. He's just my little baby and I want to keep him safe. <laughs> <laughs>